Domo no mo, yo koso. Welcome to another edition of Manga Shokai, where we take a look at different mangas, but today we have uh, actually a character book uh, from Jutsu Kaisen, the series that I translate uh, for uh, Viz Media. Uh, by Shun, published by Shonen Jump. If you haven't checked it out already, uh, I'm assuming anyone watching this, this video maybe has already uh, checked it out before. Uh, it's on uh, viz.com or Shonen Jump app if you haven't. Otherwise on Manga Plus if you're not in the States. Um, but this is an item, a little extra item that's not on sale. It's a uh, little extra character book that was handed out last year at uh, Jump Festa, I believe. Managed to get uh, my hands on it, so I thought I'd kind of share the uh, little contents with you guys a little bit. Got a nice little cover here for Saisoku Character Book. So it's like a like a quickie character book, or like the very first character book, um, whichever way you want to interpret it. But it's not like an actual item that's on sale. I think is the intention. Akutami Sensei, Jump Fest ni kita yunakamono. Oh, it says uh, someone uh, a country bumpkin that came to uh, Jump Festa. <laughs> this little synopsis. I'm assuming uh, anyone watching this video again is uh, someone who's familiar with Jutsu Kaisen already. So I'm going to talk with that kind of intention. Nice, a little character connections chart here. Tadori Yuji and Sukuna and everything branching off of that. Tokyo School. Tokyo School. Oh, a few of the Kyoto. Yeah, so this is before kind of the uh, Goodwill event, so. Yep, some of the curses, curse users. Ghetto crew. It'll be interesting to see if they show up in the uh, the main story as well. It's still kind of unclear how far uh, Volume Zero is actually canon. Uh, a lot of it seems to be actually, but who knows? Uh, it's still unclear at this point. Nice little character specific pages. Itadori Yuji. Kind of explaining that he's a first year, his curse technique is Keitaken. Sukuna. Just a little flip through, sorry, I'm not gonna read off everything or anything like that, but just to show you guys. <laughs> Nobara chan. Yeah, she's she's an awesome character. I mean, I know anyone who reads it likes her. I'm assuming, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but there he is, Gojo Satoru, the strongest. Boku Saikyo da kara. Saikyo strongest. Right? Yeah, special grade, and he has all these powers and stuff. Um, uh, I guess I should take this opportunity to explain. Um, I, I actually do a Jujutsu Kaisen podcast. Uh, it's called Positive Juju. Positive as in the word and uh, two separate words, positive and then the next word, Juju, J-U-J-U. -J -J -U. Go ahead and look it up. It's on all major platforms, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all that. And uh, I think uh, there's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of misunderstanding, rightfully so. It's very confusing with how his power specifically works. Um, anything that I see on Twitter or kind of YouTube and stuff, uh, I'm going to be honest, uh, nobody is 100% correct about him. And I'm not going to say that I necessarily am either, but um, there are things, some things that have been misinterpreted. I plan to talk about, the reason why I mention is I plan to talk about it um, down the line in one of my podcasts, probably. I'll make sure to uh, let you guys know uh, when that does happen. Uh, but you can follow me on Twitter at ReadySteady20. Uh, it's in the description. Check it out. I have all those kind of trivia and kind of like podcast announcements and stuff there. But anyways. Okotsuyuta and Orimoto Rika, right? Maki-chan. 
Yeah, these are kind of like the zero drawings. Yep, there's the Kyoto School, some of the students, and Kento Nanami, one of my favorites. He's so awesome. Just something about his demeanor and kind of his righteousness, and he's such an awesome character. Shoko-chan, which now we know is, uh, I mean, we've known for a while, but they've finally shown uh, her, Geto, and Gojo together when they were students, right, in the recent arc. The two principals, Tokyo and Kyoto. Junpei, his mom, Masito. There's some of the special grade curses. No, we haven't seen the uh, the water one right yet, right? We have a uh, kind of the forest and earth, and we also need to see the water one. Maybe there's a sky one too, who knows? Maybe that's what that kind of um, gender neutral character is all about, who knows? But there's uh, Ketel. A little look at uh, kind of curses and explains how curses work and their levels. Special grade, special grade, second, fourth, third. This is a little interview with uh, Akutami Sensei. Um, I actually have all these translated on my Twitter page. You might have to dig pretty deep. Uh, I think it might have been like, uh, I want to say four or five months ago, but you can find it on there if you would really like to see the specifics. Little, this is the little uh, extra of the draft on uh, chapter 9. This is cool. Kind of shows you what the process actually looks like. Look how... Imagine trying to read... No, nah, I couldn't. I could never... That'd be so stressful trying to read all that. Kind of like handwriting and stuff. This is uh, when uh, Megumi is fighting against Skuna. Flying away. <laughs> Very cool stuff. Kind of reminded about Sumiki, his sister. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> Anyways, and there's your little ads. Zero, volume three out, and all that. But yeah, hey. Just wanted to uh, take that opportunity to kind of show everyone uh, what this is all about. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, if you are interested in Jules Kaisen, check out that podcast. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you like. But why not? It's free, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks again. And uh, be sure to uh, stay tuned for uh, other videos and check out the other stuff as well. ありがとう。またよろしく。